So I'm here with uh, Kevin Packingham, uh, who's the Samsung Mobile USA Chief Product Officer, and also Tim Wagner, Vice President of Samsung Mobile Enterprise Solutions. Great to meet you both today. You as well. Um, so let's start off with the big elephant in the room, the Galaxy S4, um, or supposedly it might come into existence at some point later this year. I know you can't talk about future products, but just in terms of Samsung's visions, for mobile devices going forward. Can you give us a sense of what kind of themes we might see in future smartphones from Samsung? Well, I think you know our goal is to always lead the industry in terms of the technology that we're introducing to customers. Uh, and so I think the themes for us are very consistent with what we have done this year, uh, which we believe with the Galaxy S3, we've led the industry uh, with the resolution in the screen, with what we've done with NFC capabilities on the device and the content and services that we've made available on our devices. Uh, and then also with the Note 2, uh, with a large format device uh, and the S Pen integration so the customers can actually create new content on their device. Uh, and we've really reinvented the way the stylus has been introduced to the product so that customers can do new and creative things. So from a B2B perspective, you could expect even more IT compliance. And the goal for us is not just have that layer of security, but the features and functions that prosumers come to love, now having that secure features as well for them to bring them to work. Talking about security, a really important aspect of getting um, the Samsung mobile devices into the hands of enterprise and getting into enterprise is becoming more secure and Samsung recently announced SAFE. Can you tell me about that? Sure, so SAFE or Samsung for Enterprise um, allows the end users to bring devices they buy at retail into work every day. And today we're actually 50% more IT compliant than our closest smartphone competitor. Uh, so what that allows folks to do is not only leverage every, everyday functions of the device, but actually bring it to work, connect it to their um, MS Exchange, get their email, but also share files and have intellectual property on their devices. So one of the reasons for doing that is perhaps there isn't as much confidence among the IT guys of various companies with Android, or what, what can you tell me about that without offending anyone too much? Sure, sure. so um, it's a really good point. So about 72% of the industry right now is Android, and the perception is Android is not secure. So with SAFE, we've made it uh, IT compliant to a point where you have 338 IT policies, which is phenomenal, but more importantly than that, if 85% of folks are allowing BYOD today, so we're going to enable that on the Galaxy S3 uh, and future devices as well, even work up IT compliance. BYOD stands for bring your own device to work, yeah. which is what everybody is doing these like days. say uh, BYOS, bring your own Samsung. Uh, okay. Of course, well done. A um, couple more questions. As far as what Samsung is bringing out besides phones and televisions as we see behind us, there's also refrigerators, and again it's about this integration of the smart home. The smartphone though seems to be the hub that unites them all, the sort of mothership. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, so I would say the, the mobile device is just one of the electronic devices that customers just happen to carry with them everywhere. Uh, and so it does tend to be the central point for how they communicate. Uh, and they also want to have content available to them when they have their device. Uh, and so what we're trying to do is just to make sure that we have a device that's appropriate for the situation the customer's in at any given time. Uh, and so if they do happen to be sitting at home, uh, we want them to have a great experience with their TV. We want them to be able to integrate that content with their tablet or with their mobile device uh, and then also have access to that information anywhere they are. So our goal is just to make sure that we have an integrated experience across all the different products that Samsung has. Great. One last question is about Tizen. It's a term that perhaps a lot of people aren't too familiar with, but it refers to an operating system, open source operating system, that should be coming out later this year. What can you tell us about that and why it's important to Samsung? Well, so the, the Tizen initiative is something that uh, we announced last year as part of a partnership with a lot of other companies. Uh, our goal is just to make sure that we're being very sensitive to the market uh, and what our customers are asking us for. Uh, and so we do have a lot of our operator customers who are interested in exploring an open source alternative operating system and, and Tizen is a perfect fit for that. Uh, and so we've put a lot of R&D effort behind that just to make sure that we're continuing to explore that space. Uh, and, uh, and we do have some products that will be available in other markets, uh, just not here in the U.S. We haven't made any announcements yet. Essentially offering an alternative to Android? Uh, it's an alternative, but again, our, our goal here is just to make sure that we're uh, delivering the products that are most important to our customers uh, and that we're uh, having a very collaborative relationship with them to make sure that uh, whatever it is that they see as an opportunity, that we have a product available to them. Great. Tim, do you have anything else to add to that? Sure. So from a BYOD perspective, just choice is really, really, really important. So for us, Tizen in the U.S. later this year would be great. Uh, so we'll have to see if that comes out. Great answers. Thanks very much, guys.